Any worries that y'all are going to be missing so many players for this game? Eh, si hay algo de preocupación porque tantos jugadores están ausentes. Eh, no, preocupación no porque tenemos un grupo muy, muy grande que todos trabajamos igual el día a día. Eh, sí sabemos la importancia de los jugadores que se nos fueron, pero nada, iremos a, a hacer lo mismo que venimos haciendo allá con los jugadores que tenemos. No, I don't think there's any worry uh, because we're all here um, and, and all the guys are working hard every day. Um, so of course we know the, the quality of the players who are missing, but um, we're continuing to prepare in the same way. Will not having Miles behind you change how you approach uh, pressing in midfield and how you go after the ball? Eh, el hecho de no tener a Miles en este partido, eh, si va a afectar cómo juegas y, y tu rol en el centro del campo. Eh, no, yo creo que no. La verdad que bueno, todavía no sabemos cómo vamos a jugar, si algo va a cambiar, eh, es la decisión del técnico, pero no, lo que nos quedamos seguiremos haciendo lo que venimos haciendo porque lo venimos haciendo bien, así que eh, tratar de adaptarnos a la calidad, a la cualidad, perdón, de los jugadores que entran y, y nada. No, no, I don't think so. Um, we still don't know how we're going to play yet. Um, we'll find out, but I think uh, you know the, that doesn't change. Um, so we'll maybe adjust to the, the quality of the players who, who we have. But for me, um, you know, no, we're going to prepare in, in the same way. Are you going to take all the free kicks now that uh, Tiago's gone? Ahora te toca los tiros libres. No, no, no. Yo creo que bueno, ahora quedó Luis, así que creo que va a poder Luis. No, I think I'll leave that to Luis. <laughs> Where did you learn to tackle? <laughs> ¿Dónde, dónde aprendiste a <laughs> bueno, no sé, siempre de, de, de que tengo memoria, siempre jugué así, ¿no? A, a cómo es mi vida, de, de siempre guerrear, siempre trabajar. Desde chiquito vengo de una familia así, así que yo creo que se me sale de adentro, ¿no? Eh, jugar con el corazón. Eh, quizá a veces no, uno no, no tiene sus mejores días, sus mejores momentos, pero la pasión y lo que uno siente, va, lo que yo siento es, es ese amor, ese, esa, ese fuego que tengo que, que me hace jugar así adentro. Um, I've, I've always been like that, just something I, I learned growing up, and I think also, you know, where I'm from and my family, I just learned to always, always fight and, and always give everything in, in whatever you're doing, so I think for me it's just that kind of passion that uh, is burning inside me and, and that's how I approach it. You don't see too many sixes anymore that are the tacklers, the big enforcers in, in soccer now. They're more the connectors kind of thing. Who did you model your game after? Who did you look up to? Dice que hoy en día quizás no, no se ve tantos uh, cincos o número seis aquí que, que juegan así. Son, son más de toque, de posición y eso. Pero a ti, ¿quién, ¿quién veías como pequeño si tienes un hilo en esa posición? No, yo siempre, bueno, miraba, me gustaba mirar a, a Macherano, eh, yo creo que era una calidad de jugador así. Eh, hay Enzo Pérez, que son jugadores de allá de Argentina, pero bueno, uno siempre cuando mira lo grande mira a Casemiro, esos jugadores que, que quizá no, no, no tienen eh, su responsabilidad de jugar. Eh, porque bueno, tienen jugadores al lado de mayor calidad, ¿no? Y es recuperar y jugar. Lo mismo me pasa a mí. Eh, recupero y tengo a Tiago, tengo a Luis, tengo a Roseto que juega, a Mar. Eh, son jugadores de calidad y que tengo que saber cuál es mi trabajo y, y cuál es su trabajo, ¿no? Que yo corro, recupero y ellos juegan, ¿no? Uh, I always watch Mascherano, uh, Enzo Pérez, um, but today when you look around the, you know, at the big players in that position, like Casemiro, they're players who have great players around them, so uh, it's not really their responsibility to, to play. It's more to, like me, I'm, I'm trying to recover the ball um, and get it to the guys around me who, who have the quality to play. So Thiago, Amar, um, Rosetto, all the guys in, in midfield around me. So for me, it's just about win the ball back and, and play to them. Were you frustrated last year playing more as an eight when it seems your skill set naturally fits being a six a lot more? El año pasado te, te frustró jugar de 8 cuando has dicho que eh, es más de 6. No, frustrarme no. La verdad que uno eh, al querer jugar eh, a veces no, no habla o se trata de adaptar a donde el técnico decida ponerlo. 
pero bueno, yo siempre, mi posición fue esa y nada, me gustaba, me gusta jugar ahí, pero bueno, eh, como te digo, si el técnico toma una decisión, eh, uno tiene que respetarla y tratar de, de adaptarse o hacerlo de la mejor manera para ayudar al equipo. Frustrated, no. Um, you know, that, that was a, the coach's decision and I just tried to adapt as best as I could to, to that position. Um, even though, as I've said, I feel, you know, this is my, my natural position. Um, so, you know, it's a coaching decision and as players all we can do is adjust and try to do our best to help the group. Franco, what's the most important thing you learned during your time at Argentinos Juniors that helps you here? ¿Qué crees que fue la cosa más importante que aprendiste en Argentinos Juniors que te está ayudando aquí? Bueno, aprendí a, a fuera de lo futbolístico, aprendí a, a cómo eh, entrar a un vestuario ¿no? donde hay muchos jugadores de muchos nombres, de mucha calidad. Eh, aprendí a respetar, eh, aprendí a, a cómo uno se tiene que cuidar, aprendí los los códigos que se tiene dentro de un equipo, eh, aprendí varias cosas, la verdad que en Argentina eh, los jugadores más grandes te enseñan mucho, eh, te tienen muy cortito, eh, te, si te dicen anda acá tenés que hacerlo porque es así y nada, eso te sirve porque ganas más experiencia, eh, yo con 17 años ya estaba compartiendo plantel con un jugador de 35 y te hace madurar, eh, te hace crecer y te hace, te hace ver las cosas de otra manera a un chico de, de mi misma edad. I think I learned a lot off the field, uh, so how, how to enter a locker room with um, older, more experienced players, big big name players, um, just how to how to enter that locker room, the, the dynamics of a team, how to take care of yourself off the field. Uh, in Argentina, I think there's Uh, there's players like that on every team and, and they're more experienced and they're always um, telling the young players what to do. So um, you just try and, and learn a lot because you're sharing a locker room with someone who might be 35 years old, um, you know, when you're still a teenager. How do things change for you when it's uh, Amar next to you compared to Mateus? ¿Y cómo cambian las cosas para ti cuando estás jugando con Amar? No, bueno, yo veo eh, de por igual a todos mis compañeros. Eh, el, como te digo siempre, el que juega es lo mejor para Atlanta United y trato de adaptarme, de, de ver quién tengo al lado y, y saber cuál es su cualidad, ¿no? si es derecho, si es zurdo, si es mejor con la pelota al pie, al espacio. Eh, trato de adaptarme con quien me toque jugar, como te digo, porque es lo mejor para Atlanta United. Um, whoever's playing, we know that it's it's because they're what's best for Atlanta United. So I try to adapt myself um, to whoever's playing next to me. If they're right-footed, left-footed, um, adapt to their characteristics. But we know whoever it is, it's uh, they're in there because it's best for the team. Tiago's free kick on Saturday. Can you tell us where you were on the pitch and in your reaction? Durante el tiro libre, ¿dónde estabas y, y cuál fue tu reacción? Eh, yo estaba en la barrera, eh, le, bueno, éramos tres en la barrera que le estábamos tapando un poco la visión al arquero, eh, pero nada, la reacción es como la de todo, ¿no? Es algo, un golazo increíble, la verdad que eh, sabí, sabemos lo que es Tiago, eh, yo lo conozco muy bien y nada, eh, súper contento porque bueno, es mucho mejor para el equipo, para él, pero nada, todos sabemos la calidad de Tiago y es un poco de asombro, pero los que lo conocemos todos los días sabemos que lo hace siempre. I was in the wall, uh, I was one of the three players trying to, to block the vision of the goalkeeper, uh, but my reaction was the same as everyone. Um, just, we, we all know the, the quality of player that Tiago is, um, and I'm very happy for him, um, because it, you know, what's what's good for him, it's also good for the team. Um, and it's amazing, but we see him out here every day in training, so we know the kind of player that he is. Thank you. Right. Thank you. This is a tough one, but I keep getting asked this on Twitter. Why do you have your first name on the back of your kid instead of your last name? Oh, well, <laughs> uh, my, I mean, I'm the only one in my family with Barry's last name now. It wasn't my dad's biological last name. He had it changed recently. So I'm the only one in the family with Barry. So. I thought for him, uh, I mean, really, our family now's name isn't Barry. It's, it's, so, 
for me, as opposed to changing my name now and having to go through everything, I just keep it simple. First name there, and uh, I think he was he was really happy when I did it. So um, huh. I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I could change my last name now, but that's a very legal, complicated issue. So I'll wait to do that. But um, yeah, for now, it's it is it it's just that, and uh, yeah, happy with it. <laughs> Sounds like there's a whole story here. Yeah, I could, <laughs> I could take about 35 minutes and explain to you <laughs> everything, but I think, yeah, I mean, honestly, for, for me, it's just my dad's last name is no longer Barry, so that's just the easiest way to explain it to people. Okay. That it's, yeah, so, um, but yeah. All right. That's a good answer. Uh, is, does it mean more because it's Columbus this week? Ah, I mean, I, it's good. It's going to be good to see some some of the guys, some of the staff members. So I developed a relationship with them. But uh, for us, it's 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 another game. Um, another opportunity. It's another opportunity to get points. I think early in the season we've we've done well, and uh, you know I've I've been in this position before where you start incredibly well. I think last year with Columbus we started eight points in the first four games, and it was it was a very good start. We had a very good feeling and didn't make the playoffs. So it's we know we have to keep building and and. Uh, Obviously, I'm I'm extra excited because I have you know good friends in the team and and it'd be nice to, to score again there. So, what did you learn from your uh, first two starts that you can apply? We presume you're going to start this week. Uh, at Columbus. Yeah, I mean, obviously nothing's guaranteed. So, uh, you know, it's it's easy to say that on paper, but I think nothing's guaranteed, and we have a great team. So, uh, obviously, you're going to train hard this week and, and hope hope to get to not in the weekend. But I think, um, you know, us as a team, I think we we've done well. In, in certain areas, I think we've built game to game. I think we've scored, you know, our first game, we, we've gotten to good areas a lot of times and we didn't score until the 90th minute outside of shots from outside of the box. I think we scored in transition well against Charlotte. Um, and I think, you know, last game, I think we scored in every possible way. Um, so I think it's it's exciting to see that, you know, we're putting the piece together. And I think, you know, just really building relationships with the guys. Uh, Tiago, who's obviously not here, but Caleb, uh, Luis, um, Obviously, Rosetto has been out, but you know Amar, all these all these players who I haven't played with, it's 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 good to build relationships with them. So, you starting to feel like those relationships are good with you now? Are you starting to anticipate movement? Um, I mean, definitely, definitely more and more so. But it's it's actually exciting how much better it's going to get. You know, it's I think, and I think Gigi would say the same thing about you know his his play. And I think you look at. Uh, last game, I think a couple times, you know, he probably wanted the ball a little bit earlier played and things like that. And that stuff all takes time. And I think uh, it's we've done well so far, obviously, with with uh, uh, I don't know how many points we have, ten points in the first four games. I think we've done well, and I think we can. We have so much room to grow, and I think that's what's exciting. I think this team has has a lot of potential. Explain a little bit the, the commitment to defending, and especially how it has to start immediately when possession turns over. Yeah, I mean, you guys watch training today. It's it, that's that's what we preach here, and I think Gonzalo is very clear on that. And uh, I think more so than any team I've ever been on, it's it's all eleven guys. It starts with Brad, um, his commitment to to playing out of the back, and vice versa with the forward is defending from the front. So I think uh, more so than any team I've been on. I mean, Luis runs like crazy, Tiago runs like crazy to defend. And I think that sort of mentality helps us going forward with the ball. That aggression, that desire to to get forward, to get in the box. To, Scoring transition, I think that shows with with our defending too, um, and it's it's a mentality puts teams under pressure. And I mean, they showed a clip today of, of right after we scored our first goal last last weekend that we won the ball back within like three passes off the kickoff and we're going again. So I think that mentality is, is hard to play against, especially at the bend. So um, yeah. I mean, y'all scored five goals. You could have easily had nine or ten. How much better can the team play? I mean, in what areas does it need to improve? I think across the board, I mean, we're, we're four games in the season, so across the board, I think we, we need to improve in that, you know, we're not just trying to make the playoffs, we're trying to win the whole thing. So um, I think to do that, we have to, you know, improve in everything. And, and I think, you know, we, we go through film and, and we dissect and we nitpick a lot of times, and that stuff's important because it's the little things that end up, uh, you know, coming up and, and mattering the most. So I think, uh, you know, we've done well so far, but there's, there's room for improvement. We didn't get a clean sheet. And like you said, we could have scored five more. And there's going to be games when, when you only get three chances and you better score one or two of them at least. So um, I think, you know, we could always always do better. And But, you know, it's important to remember and that, you know, we've done well so far and to, to, to be, have a positive mentality, but also to keep working. And I think we, we do a very good job of that. So, Have you been on the other end of an Avara tackle? Uh, yeah, <laughs> quite a few times, unfortunately. Um, luckily, luckily today was on my team and we won. Uh, so that was great. But uh, I, I saw very, very early on, uh, Ibarra, Santi, you, you know, if you're going to go in with them, you go in hard, or else you're going to come out, come out uh, injured. So, uh, having guys like that on teams is incredible, um, and I think you know it shows. And you talk about the energy 
and, and, and that goes in defending. When guys like that put in tackles, I mean, it makes me want to run through a wall for them. So um, they've done incredibly well this season, and I mean, they, they have a very difficult job with you know with how many attacking players we have, and I think they've done incredibly so. Player I've been focusing a lot of when it comes to Columbus is Aiden Morris. You know, can you tell me a little bit about your time with him and his development? Um, Aiden's probably my best friend on the team. So uh, I, I mean, for me, I I met him in preseason 2020, and I think he'll tell you he had an awful time and. And to see what he's done, finishing the MLS Cup that year, that year was just incredible. Comes back, I, I was living with him that year, he did his knee, and he was just battled every day, worked incredibly hard, and I think now he's, he's it's incredible to see him do so well. Um, I hope he plays terribly in the weekend. Um, I'll tell him that to his face, but uh, no, he's, he's an incredible player, incredible person. So um, I'm really proud of him as a friend, but also, you know, to, to see how much work he puts in outside of it is incredible. And I think, you know, people don't really know that about him that well but he he works harder than than almost anyone so it's it's really incredible to see him grow and, and perform on a weekly basis and uh i'll be cheering for him every other week except for this week probably so Thank you. all right perfect Thanks, appreciate it guys thank you appreciate it